Hmm. Hey, hey, good evening, morning, night, whatever time zone you're at right now. This is Sleeping With with another sleepy watch along review. Yay! <laughs> Sorry about the late posting. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Yes, it is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Happily, I got no excuse. I just. Mm, got a little sidetracked by other stuff and I couldn't record it yesterday because the stream went way too long. But other than that, let's... Oh yeah, last time on Digimon Ghost Game, it was the Kiyoshiro Jellymon episode. I finally memorized his fucking name. And we also got our, this... I think it's only the second time that damn Evolution song has actually showed up in the series. Only it wasn't for the Evolution. Also just found out that they actually finally posted the full versions of the opening and the and the evolution song. They're so good. I'm so happy Digimon slaps so hard with its music to this day. I'm still admit I still miss Wada Koji though. Do you imagine him singing any of these songs? It's still they're still amazing, but you just gotta just also a sad reminder. He left us way too soon. <sighs> but out of the depressing shit, let's get on with the show. Today is, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Siren Mon going from the last time. It was music. I saw like something like an angel wing in the preview. Anyway, let's go with the karaoke episode. I wonder if they're gonna have any, 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 any references or any of the old songs. By the way, I've already started. John, John, Fuck, Fuck, John, Life. God, I love this song. Uh, it's even better now that it's actually out on full. The full version's out already. Uh, uh now then. Mm. I wonder though if they'll act if they'll actually make a second opening. That reminds me, Reboot never had a, a second opening. Stay with the same opening for the entire 60-something episodes. Digimon usually has at least two openings at around episode 30. Somewhere around there, the 30s, late 20s, early 30 episodes. It usually changed to a second opening. I think the only other exception was Cross Wars Season 2. But technically, Crossword in itself has three openings, not, ju not just the second season having one. Plus, the second season didn't really last all that long. It lasted like 30, I think 30 episodes, 40 episodes? I don't remember. Angoramon, I wish I could. Sumbare, Angoramon, I go see. Sumbare, Somber, ah! Anyway, I hope we get evolution soon. Once again. I swear, every single time they did do that description at the start, they always add in new stuff. This this time they even added some mute holograms they didn't show before. Wait a minute. Wait, isn't this one of the endings in reboot? <laughs> they actually... <laughs> They're all... I actually guessed it, oh my god. Wow. Mm. Ah, Siren Mon singing along, and she doesn't realize it's someone else. <laughs> and... Ooh. Oh wow, we're starting with the horror, pretty... Oh shit! <laughs> ah, distorted voice, that's never a good sign. <laughs> God, God, that's ugh. Poor songs getting massacred. <laughs> what is this? The ring all of a sudden? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because it's all supposed to just be horror movie references, but still. <laughs> 
fucked up just the distorted voice going la 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 <laughs> Yay, they're researching all of the rumors as a team now. It's about damn time. Oh wait, no, it's just Hero and Ridurun. Kiyoshiro's not there. Hmm. He's gonna eat the offering, isn't it? Poor offerings are gonna get eaten and they're gonna piss someone off. Ah. <gasps> Cubimon! Wait, no, no, no. That's not Cubimon. That's the purple one. Uh, I forget that. Yokomon. Okay. I wonder. Was there a purple Renamon? I don't remember a purple Renamon. I know purple Talmon and Cubimon and Kazuhamon, but not purple Renamon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a lost and found Digimon. That's <laughs> mm -hmm. it. This is actually pretty smart. Researching other Digimon and trying to find them and see what the fuck they are. Without actually having to fight them. I really love this. Really makes all of their... Their talking down their enemies actually more relevant. Because they actually just want to find more info and be peaceful. Although there's gonna come a time where they're gonna have to kill one of them at least. But the peacefulness of it all makes it so that kill will actually be... Actually hit them harder. Ah, uh, hey, there's the girls who got cursed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, discretion after being haunted by fucked up... Mm. Was that a Hololive reference? I could have sworn I just saw a shadow of Pekora just now. What? What? <laughs> One sec. Okay, be, be, after the episode ends, I'm going to backtrack to that. What the hell? <laughs> Holy crap, they really are everywhere. So basically, they... It's the opposite of a Scooby-Doo episode. They think it's a scam, but it's not a... But ghosts are actually there. Meanwhile, in a Scooby-Doo episode, they think there's ghosts, but it's actually a scam. Wait, no. Ah, fuck it. You get what... Oh, Y'all just... Oh, hey, Kiyoshiro. There he is. <laughs> What's the fuck with the loud-ass music from he was playing? Ah, just more Jellymon trolling with the music. <laughs> ah, I wonder what song they'll sing. Well, it's obviously gonna be this random idol girl who we keep. We keep changing to. And Siremon's here. God, that fucked up la 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 is so actually really creepy. Oh, so it's <laughs> the ghost just it's just obsessed with the Digimon reboot, that's all. It's the ghost of Ty. It wasn't Siren Mon, it's actually Ty trying to curse Digimon Ghost Game! His ghost will force it into the series! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. 
I can actually see them try to force Ty into the series at some point. Jesus. That really is fucked up. It really could make a horror karaoke thing with this concept. Or some sort of cursed song that uh, goes like... It's like a modern day ring, you know? But instead of a VHS, it's just a random YouTube video. Actually, I remember those being semi-popular with the creepy pasta or watch this video and you'll be cursed type shit. <laughs> okay, nah. Forget I said anything. Eh... Jesus. Eh, come on, did you know Ruby? No, they ran away. God damn it. Well, they're still like 15 minutes into the movie, so. I like this. The whole. Damn. Where'd the other two go? Oh, probably her friends coming to pick her up. I really like this. It's like, it's from the tip of my tongue. One of those, uh, <laughs> fuck it. Just one of those series. They're basically superheroes. Just without the latex outfits or sexiness or muscles. Going around and solving all of the digital problems. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a better word for it other than superheroes, but whatever. Investigators would probably be way better. The Scooby-Doo comparison was probably closer. Ah, she screwed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Starting lo- Oh no 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 no. You know, it'd be way creepier if Siren Mon added more voices. Yeah, there it is. They actually added more voices right as I mentioned it. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, but now it's just one voice. But like, it'd be so much creepier with multiple distorted voices. <laughs> there it is. Yep. The Siren Mon mask, the hair. Yep, it is her. Whee! Oh, damn. Holy cr They actually made Siren Mon look fucking horrifying. Such a cute little card in the TCG, and here is she's full on Yandare. <laughs> I should put a warning. I'm probably gonna be. Well, fuck it. I already mentioned Siren Mon from the start. <laughs> Like, it, I guess it's only really obvious if you actually play the TCG or n or know a lot about other Digimon. I wonder if they're ever going to explain that. The kids suddenly think up of the attack and it goes to their brain before what the Digimon actually does it. But at the same time, you can see the Digimon sometimes winding up to do it. Seirin <laughs> Mon. And, yeah, it's going inside the TV. It's not actually going through the wall, Jellymon. And Jellymon's gone. She's, you can not hear us. She's, she's running off to do her own thing. Hmm. I know they'll never die, but it kind of feels reminiscent to season one. Like when, like when you actually thought they were gonna, they could have, Actually, be eaten or killed by the di by the wild Digimons. When was the last time we actually had a dangerous aura to the surrounding areas in Digimon? Though I think it was Tamers when they actually reached the digital world. After that, Frontier was like the digital world was super welcoming. And. I guess savers, but they didn't really spend all that much time there. And the only real danger was their enemies. Hmm? Karaoke Pashira. Hmm. 
Uh, just hack the entire karaoke system, yeah. Hacking. <laughs> so fucking casual about it. Oh yeah, we're just gonna hack him. Time to call. Oh, that's nice. But what about? But rip that poor shop, though. Yep, they're screwed. There it is. Mm hmm. God, she's such a diva. Sadly, they're just gonna talk her down and make friends by making her understand that she can't n hog the spotlight or something like that. Although, personally, I feel she might be better off for as runaway and swear vengeance like Clockmon and Drachmon did. Oh, she actually did run away. Oh, actually, that reminds me. With that, there'll be three enemies that, that'll that actually want to come back and have revenge. That's That'd be perfect for one for each of them. Clockmon for Hero. Drachmon for... I know he was introduced in the Ruli episode, but he fit way better against Kiyoshiro and Yelimon. And Sirenmon for Ruli. Although I can also see it the other way around. Sirenmon, Kiyoshiro, and Drachmon, Rudy. <laughs> well, rip. That's actually pretty smart, using the area for their advantage, yay. Mm. <laughs> uh, still a little sleepy. Well, it is called Sleepy Watch Along, so. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> I love Camamon so much! Mm. Boto no kul. Again, I really hope they explain that at some point. Especially since it's Kiyoshiro's the one spamming it the most. And it's mostly just because Jellymon wants to attack right now. It feels more like the Digimon are transmitting their intentions to the Tamers. And the Tamers don't really have to do anything. But it's added just for... Effect. Kind of reminiscent of a JRPG. Only, I guess, in this case, the Digimons can or should already be able to do what they are about to do anyway. Hey! Is it going to be a new evolution? Or just the red one again? Red one again. God damn it. Come on, give me the other one. I want to see the green one and the black one the most. Speaking of the black ones, the one I am, I always fucking get in the vital bracelet. I can't get any of the evolution, any other evolutions. I gotta s Google up how to get those. Angoramon, the flyer. Yeah, see, that's another reason why it'd be better matchup for Druli. Angoramon's the only one that can fly. Mm. 
I don't know why, but now I can't see Saruman as any, like, in that side view. And when they give her a close-up, she kind of looks more like Darkmon. But, like, she be fied. Mm. What the fuck? The fuck is that singing? <laughs> it was Hero? What the? <laughs> oh, poor boy can't sing. <laughs> what the fuck? He's singing so horrible, it, it left Sirenmon just shocked. Oh, wait, what? She actually likes it? What? What? Okay, so this is how they talked her down. <laughs> By giving her even worse singing than hers. <laughs> okay. Hmm. These two are just bonding over horrible things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, maybe because you were doing the ring on them. That's why they fucking ran. Well, yeah, that too. Your singing's horrible. Honestly, she kind of looks way more fucked up with whilst being normal than she is the Andre. What the hell? She looks so cute on the card. She looks. I was wondering how they were gonna make her terrifying, but holy crap, she just looks so fucked up in this art style. And I can't put my finger on why. And she left. Bye bye. No answers about your long lost father for you. She Gammon singing is cute. Gammon does everything cute. Mm hmm. Because that's how Digimon works, if they have partners. Hmm. Uh, actually, actually, now that I think about it, they're actually... Okay, for... I'm gonna skip the ending now. Next episode on Digimon Ghost Game. Oh? Burbs! Ravens. Murder burbs. Murder! Wait, no. Crows are a murder. Wait. Okay. One's an omen and the other's a... Wait, who the fuck was that old guy? Oh, you got the Garasumon. Oh, that was fun. Let me... Go back to... Let me just go back here. Okay. Yes, now show me the book. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it is them! Wait. No, no, no. It was a ribbon, not rabbit ears. Uh -huh. Although the one next to her does look like Flair and after that, Noel. So it's still pretty. Eh. Oh, not really. I'm just imagining shit. <laughs> anyway, think that that's it. Yeah, it's a fun episode gives us a good 
their chemistry their overall chemistry is just let's find out more about this shit that we got pushed into which is fine especially at the start especially since there's still so many questions although this one's definitely just more of a fun filler episode i do still hope we get a third digimon that becomes there a more recurrent enemy like clockmon and drachmon may become uh, other than that though i don't really got any complaints or comments about this episode other than it was fun like a fun like i already mentioned it in the last in the last review i don't really or and no one should really be expecting anything too plot heavy until like after episode 10 or 11 like episode 12 13 somewhere around there we'll probably start seeing something right. other than that in, let's see there's not nothing really to comment on uh, other than Luli's the investigator, Hero's the one with the questions, and Kiyoshiro's the one who's gonna enable them to do illegal shit. <laughs> and then Jellymon's just gonna be there to bully him into doing the illegal shit. <laughs> Which was pretty obvious from the start, but eh. What can you do? Well, nothing. It's actually a pretty solid... It's actually pretty solid considering how many of the series have tended to have kind of wonky teamwork, especially in the earlier episodes, like in Tamers and Cross Wars. Like at least in Cross War, it was part of the plot, but I'm, I, but but it's just kept going and going and going, and it just kind of felt forced after a while. The whole not everyone working together like they should. So I'm glad this team seems way more cohesive. And not to mention all of them have similar goals. Or at least two of the three of them. The third one just wants to not be cursed by a horror monster. <laughs> okay. I think that's about it. So this has been Sleepy Noobies with another Sleepy Watch Long Review. Like always, if you have any comments on the, what I could improve from my videos please don't hesitate to tell me tell me in the comments or just or and if you like the video or want to see more of me please follow me on twitch where i'll be well i'll, I'll pretty much be streaming on twitch exclusively from now on and youtube just upload this and any other stuff like the god of war stuff and vods and stuff and edited videos there's been sleepy noobies and good night. Oh, yeah, to me. Bye bye.